Let's draw the Lewis structure for HOF. This is hypofluorous acid. So the first thing we do is we put the least electronegative element in the center of our Lewis structure. But we always put hydrogen on the outside. So since the oxygen is less electronegative than the fluorine, we're going to put oxygen in the middle. We'll put our hydrogen over here and a fluorine on this side. For the HOF Lewis structure, we should count the valence electrons. Hydrogen's in group 1. It has 1. Oxygen, group 16, sometimes called 6A, it'll have 6. And then fluorine, that's in group 17, that has 7. So we have a total of 14 valence electrons for the HOF Lewis structure. Let's put two valence electrons between atoms. That'll form the chemical bonds. And then we'll complete the octet on the fluorine atom here. We've used 10 valence electrons. We have a total of 14. Let's put those last four here and then here. And at this point, we've used all 14 valence electrons. Fluorine, that has eight valence electrons, an octet. Oxygen has an octet. And then hydrogen, it only needs two valence electrons, so it's complete as well. So this is the Lewis structure for HOF. Let's take a look at the molecular geometry in three dimensions. So the purple, that'll be the central oxygen. We'll add the hydrogen here, and then we'll add the fluorine. And you see they spread out to be as far away from each other as they can. But we still have those two lone pairs. So we'll add a lone pair there. And you can see it forces things down. We add the other lone pair. And we end up with this bent molecular geometry. The bond angles, the ideal bond angles, are 109.5. But because the lone pairs are more repulsive than the atoms, we would expect it would push this down and these would be closer together. So we have a bent molecular geometry. But if we look at the electron geometry, that takes into account the atoms here and these electron pairs, we'll actually have a tetrahedral electron geometry. Let's go back to our Lewis structure. So this is our Lewis structure for HOF. Note that we have that bent molecular geometry because of these two lone pairs here pushing the hydrogen and the fluorine down. You could also write it like this. And here we're showing that bent molecular geometry. This is in the gas phase. So this is HOF as a gas, where we do have that 97.2 bond angle between the hydrogen and the fluorine. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.